it is overwhelming to learn that your baby has been identified through newborn screening to be at risk for ALD or adrenal leukodystrophy. First, take a deep breath. Newborn screening is a game changer. It will save lives. The really good news is that early detection means doctors can monitor your child's condition to keep him healthy over his entire lifetime. Once your child is diagnosed, you do need to work with a medical team experienced in caring for children with ALD. Here are some of the things you need to do. First, you need to work with a genetics counselor to identify family members who might be affected by the genetic mutation. When we pick up an individual, it's that baby is really not at risk for um, health implications in the immediate future, in the next few months or so. And so really what, um, what having this on the newborn screening does is one, of course, it, it allows us to monitor with adrenal function studies and with, with brain MRIs, um, but really it allows us to pick up other family members, older brothers that may be in that critical age range for cerebral disease. Um, and so, yes, it's certainly a domino effect. We, we pick up one individual on newborn screen and, and our experience so far has been that we've detected pretty large families um, and, and they didn't know that they had this condition in their family. Second, Identify a medical team, like the one at the University of Minnesota, to start monitoring your child regularly for adrenal insufficiency. When your baby is diagnosed by newborn screening, it's very important to uh, find a, a local group that is uh, interested in ALD and is well aware of the implications of having ALD and uh, having monitoring set up by that group is, uh, is key. So there's several things we, we're going to look for. One is going to be for the adrenal function. Another is going to be for the potential emergence of cerebral disease. And so uh, setting up schedules to become, have the boys seen and evaluated on an ongoing basis is uh, really important. Third, specialists need to set up a regular schedule of MRIs to monitor your child for the cerebral form of adrenal leukodystrophy called CALD. There are several different things that, that we can offer. If the adrenal glands appear to be failing, which happens in most boys, uh, when that starts to happen, we can do replacement with hydrocortisone, which is a pill that the boys will have to take for, for the rest of their lives. But that alleviates really that, that problem. So identifying that early ends up being important, and then we can uh, treat that very effectively. So essentially what we start to do at age about 18 months, but some groups do a little earlier or later, we start a schedule where they're having ongoing MRIs. And the uh, purpose of doing that is to pick up the disease as early as we, we possibly can. Newborn screening is going to save lives and we are here to help. You are not alone. But I think it's important for families to understand that there are a lot of dedicated professionals out there um, and we certainly are here as a resource for families if they have questions or concerns about uh, what this is going to mean. And uh, so I, I think that uh, there are opportunities for the families to get the information that they need. And, and again, we're here to help them with that however we can.